What's up Starcraft fans, when we last left off, we defeated Ulrazaj as a Protoss and, he's, and we set him packing. Now we'll move on to the Zerg missions, starting with Chain of Command. Thank you to Spinbad who is supporting me in the immobilization rate tier, and Darth and Shadow Archon who are supporting me in the Pulse Cannon tier. Thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So, we are in Kerrigan's new primary hive cluster outside birthing acid marshlands of Char. Marshlands. Okay, Char is not the type of plant to have marshlands, but we did see it, I guess, in the Harvest Swarm campaign. Renegade Zerg have more resources, but you control the Queen of Blades. Razor Swarm can cut through. Yeah, yeah, I saw it in my practice run. I actually saw it in my practice run. Man. Char Canyon Stretch, Kerrigan's new primary hive cluster. Three weeks later. Some time now has passed since the last destroyed my enemies above Char and decimated those left there once mighty UED that foolishly sought to control that which is rightly mine. Now I continue. Stand supreme among all, I feel the surface across the void that gives me pause. Even still, something within poises me to ignore this threat and set the enemy's skin to the to satisfy his hunger. But these feelings cannot be mine alone. Why is my thirst for destruction never quenched? What horrible thing have I become? Oh, Kerrigan is a conscience even before uh, Wakes of Liberty. Interest. I admit, this was not a life I willingly chose. I have lost people, friends, yet I do not wallow in self-loathing. I have evolved beyond such petty emotions. Faith has given me new purpose and trusted me to protect the sword at any cost. Whatever threatens out there to my Zerg, I shall make preparations to combat it. No longer will we be used as tools of war, enslaved unto others. A new day is dawning, a day of evolution for some, a day of reckoning for others. Okay? Right. In order to make way for the future, I must find others like myself, those with potential for greatness. I have eluded, I have scoured the sector for such a creature, but I found none worthy to ascend. Each and every attempt at infestation has resulted in failure. I wonder if my maker created me unique amongst all, never to be replaced again. I will not, yet I will not be dismayed, for I continue to find those who have potential fast. They will be mine willing or not. Okay. My old compatriots are now nothing more than husks of their former selves, mindless creatures that would run feral without a master. The Zerg themselves are strong, but a prior leader to guide them or they would conceal themselves in the feral civil war. Although the Zerg themselves were capable of taxing mental capacity in such control form, they cannot be trusted. All have been eradicated save for one, that is, until I can complete my experiment to find a worthy general to lead my armies to whatever battle lie. Lies ahead, I assume? Oh. Oh wow. That's physics. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one who noticed that. A greater war is still looming in the distance. A storm will be the most powerful species in the galaxy to combat this threat. No enemy, known to me or not, will dare stand my way to greatness. This is my will, no one shall control my destiny, for I am the Queen of Blades. Cool. Cool, so she doesn't trust the Cerebits. So she wants a full autocracy over a completely mindless creature, so she doesn't want an army. She doesn't want an army of people, she, she wants an army of robots, essentially. Of course it's not reserved, but yeah. Even the generals ha have to be mindless. There's quite a difference from uh, Harvest Swarm. I guess in Harvest Swarm she learned. Oh, although the UED sought to control the Caprulo sector by enslaving their new Obermind and Zerg, it failed to maintain its control over many outlying worlds during the chaos of the Dominion's fall, allowing Kerrigan to tear infested silent with the self-imposed Queen of the Zerg I had to manipulate others in order to reclaim the swarm for herself and destroy the UED's holdings. That whole thing right there, that whole thing is literally one sentence. My goodness.
Her victory was assured. Man, this is really hard to read. Her victory was assured when she decimated her army's final combined assault against her above Char, leaving none left for the opposition. Mysteriously, however, her old infested consort Samir Duran seemingly vanished just after the fall of the DVD, leaving her to reap the victory alone. And there has to be some sort of background here that makes this easier to read. Like have have a have a black background. Have a black yeah black background in the text. In the weeks that followed, a looming psionic presence was felt by Kerrigan that disturbed her greatly. She made preparations to move her primary hive cluster from less defensible ruined Tar Terran's capital Tarsonis to the fiery hellscape of Char itself while relocating millions of unborn Zerg eggs to Isaac Marsh, birthday grounds of Char for safekeeping. <sighs> from she made preparations up to safekeeping. It's literally one huge giant garble run on sentence. My goodness. Phrasing needs the uh, the pacing and the phrasing needs to be uh definitely needs to be uh updated here. Realizing she would be less effective attempting to control the swarms of Zerg around the sector entirely herself, she began to seek out another being like herself. Kagan needed someone who was was enough psionic potential to keep control of the Zerg, yet not too much threat to her rule. However, infestation infestation gives the Terran ghosts psychics all resulted in creating genetic failures. Aww. The Nova's off the table. <laughs> How about Protoss? Undeterred by this, Kerrigan kept moving covertly. Covertly, yes, that, that's what Kerrigan does, covertly. That's truly Kerrigan, yep, definitely. Can't think of a more covert person than Kerrigan ever. From world to world, until she eventually came across a Terran research vessel. Award this was the most powerful psionic she had encountered, yet by the name of Am Amanda Haley. Although Amanda resisted with her vessel, when her vessel was taken over and all occupants completely infested by Kerrigan, she was eventually overpowered and forced down to Char, awaiting to be infested in herself into perhaps Kerrigan's new advisor. Meanwhile, the last known cerebrate in existence, the very same creature that was birthed by the Overmind with the sole priority of protecting Kerrigan during her transformation had, ser had served her throughout the Brood War, began setting up its own preparations for its own inevitability. Look at this. Kerrigan, I have news to bring. Faster. Speed up a little bit. For the last time, you will address me as your queen. I expect nothing else of my subjects. You have served me well since the fall of the Overmind. Do not let your fate be the same as your fellow cerebrates. Yes, my queen. Apologies for my transgression. However, I do not. Ha I do have ill news regarding your experiment. The character we captured has emerged from her cocoon. However, the result is the same as the rest. She is part Zerg, part human, and perfect genetic de defect, with no self conscience of her own. I mean, she Kerrigan doesn't want another conscience, right? Another failure? This is intolerable. I had high hopes for Duran in leading my roots one day. Yet, with this untimely departure after the UAD has crushed and the over me over my slain, I could not replicate the genetic code to introduce. Funny, I still don't exactly. He was able to survive the infestation process with such precision in the first place. He came to me already infested on Tarsonis and needing purpose. I thought I was the first only known perfected infested Terran agent to swarm. My queen, if I may, it is folly to try another human like yourself to complete the hyper evolutionary virus. Your genetic makeup and potential psionic is unique amongst all Terrans. Only the original evolution master of can create another perfect creature, a human missing in Char. When the Overmind was first slain, we require a creature with psionic potential that won't fail the rigors of infestation. Although Protoss naturally psionically adept, it cannot be infested. If we start with a pure Zerg DNA, we could create a creature of great purpose. Just what are you getting at, Sarah Brett? Zerg Queens. They're Arachnes Broodkeeper's strain is capable of great augmentation and manipulation. 
We have been holding back their true potential for too long. If we were able to incorporate some of your DNA laced with the Queen's, we can create a creature of slightly greatness capable of controlling a reserve group of their own. Use my own genetic material for the Zerg. Hmm, ingenious. Put the plan into motion. Immediately. Oh, I uh, I'd hope you would agree, for I have already put in place one near your near our birthing grounds, my queen. However, you must supply the crystals with your essence personally. Of course, I must warn you, there are still feral zerg upon Char that are not under your control. These zerg's neural decay appear to have been too great for the UD's manipulation. I will not respond to your commands. By the way, we're already at 11 minutes. I can feel them, yet I can't reach out to them. This isn't neural decay. It feels almost as if something, someone is blocking my command. Never mind, I will deal with this later. For now, let us reinforce the birthing grounds. I will personally defend the cocoon myself until it hatches. Come, Sarah, but if this succeeds, then the swarm's future may be assured. 11 minutes of pure dialogue. Yes, Kerrigan. Our future will indeed be assured. All right, and then the unskippable, the unskippable uh, initial cutscene. Zerg's birthing grounds, outskirts of acid marshlands, Char. Herbert, we must protect this cocoon at all costs. The future of the swarm may rest within. Be advised, the renegade Zerg have been alerted to your presence. They will attempt to destroy you. Direct intervention is necessary. I will do what I must. Do not concern yourself with it, Cerebrit. Double our defenses. Nothing gets past our perimeter into the marsh. Cool. So, first order of business is to save case something goes wrong the hive cluster is under attack ooh piece of candy all right put these three here start this and yeah i need i need the layer start the lurker aspect movie overload here Okay. I should probably start at the hatchery. And of course, uh, then these workers harvesting. Oh, start the lurker aspect. Throw these. Alright. Yeah, I should actually start another hatchery. I think over here would be good. It'll be exposed for a time, but I think it's worth. Okay. Alright. Cool. I should want to start a uh, hatchery here right away. We will be under attack soon. What I learned is that the enemy really likes to attack this spot. As in really, really likes to attack that spot. I'll start sending this Kerrigan here. With the cloak just to hide her. More workers. Okay. I'll get over overward, uh, detection. Oh wow. See what I mean? They love attacking this spot. Yes, Sarah. 
Alright. Oh. What? Okay, that thing doesn't work whatsoever. Worker aspect is done. Nice. Let's make some workers. Exactly what I need. Like I said, I like attacking this spot, so I'll uh, I'll defend here. Dave, this Kerrigan is really low, as in really really low. Okay. I'll burrow these workers here. Hey. Spawn more overlords. And what? I need more static defense. Hey. Get more hydralisks. The lords. Yeah. Yeah, like I said. They really like attacking the spot. Let me make a couple of spores. The rest will be sunkins. Another, another high, another lurker. I think would be, would perfect this uh, this defense here. Make more lurkers there. Okay, let me start getting some here. Okay. Keep that down. Hey. Okay. Oh, don't want don't want to go too far, Kerrigan. Not good for your health. Mm -hmm. I think I'll get a spore a spire. Spore. All right. Keep making these workers. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Start a couple of static defenses here. Okay. More lurkers. You see I'm getting a lot of uh a lot of gas now. I'll use all that later. Okay. Cool. All right. Add more lurkers. You might think that I'm over defending here, but I'm really not. The attacks are intense. Okay. It's urban speed. These upgrades. The hive cluster is under attack. Fine. Get another spore here. Cool. Alright, last four lurkers. That should be that should be perfect. Oh. I see larvae there. Randomly. Okay. See this for energy. Nice. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Now, now I can transition to uh to offense. I think another hatchery might be in order actually. Yeah, another hatchery might be in order. Alright, have a worker here. I'll use that to, uh, I don't know, further strengthen my defenses here. Okay, good. This is, this is enough. This should be enough. Okay. Have a whole army of lurkers. Okay. 
Oh. Cool. Right. Workers are pretty great. <laughs> I'll start getting upgrades for their blinks. Oh, I should also get a queen's nest. Yeah, it's pretty gas intensive, the strategy. You know, spamming, uh, spamming lurkers. Just for defense. I know, I know, I know. I'll get an opportunity later on to, uh, I'll get an opportunity later on to, uh, go, with, go in the offense. Don't worry about it. I should drop a save, just in case it goes awry. Cool. Didn't start. Oh wait, not not this one. Hey, the hive. We have eight minutes remaining. Be good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just start some zerglings. I don't know. Just to spend my just to spend minerals. Need more gas. That's what I need. Okay. Cool. Let's find the spawn pool. Start adrenal glands. There we go. More zerglings. Mm -hmm. Might be time to start our pace. Oh wait. This is uh There we go. About that. More zerglings. Overlords. Allow us to max out and stuff. Maxing out is fun. Oh, I should have an overlord follow. Oh, wait, overlord speed, yeah, that's that's gonna be pretty good. I'll have two guys follow here. Oh wait. Ooh, that's inhumane. Ooh, that's pretty nice. All right, get more supply. Try to spend all my uh, all my minerals as fast as I can, but I can't. Just too fast. Okay. Cool. All right. Are we ready, team? We are. We are. All right, let's go, Tim. All about the Tim work. Tim does all the work. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh. Okay, destroy, destroy, spire. Okay. Hmm? Don't know by what, but not anymore, I would say. Or some side defense here. Start a hatchery here. Okay. Require more 
35 Mulisks. Seem good. Seems good. Ooh, piece of candy. Alright. Wow. They actually just spawned there. Sheesh. Yeah, they actually just spawned there. Have I mentioned that they, re that they, that they really like attacking this spot? I might have. Fuck. Okay. Some more uh, static defense. The cloak. Cool, we're about to max out. Awesome. Wait, I shouldn't really uh, oversaturate that because I'm close to maxing out. What I should do though is just uh, make more attack units. Just, you know, attack. For this. Ooh, destroy that devourer. I'll deal a bit of damage. Lurkers are pretty good. Lurkers are pretty good. Okay, focus down. Imagine picking between offense or defense when you can have both. <laughs> Alright. Lurkers are pretty good. Ooh, there we go. The cocoon is hatching. Come forth, my creation. The entire mission, half of the entire mission was just the uh, the the uh, initial dialogue and the briefing. Hey, it's Zagara. My my, what have we here? A new Zerg general. She is perfect. He shall henceforth be called Zagara. <laughs> the first of my brood mothers. How does she know that there's gonna be they're gonna be next brood mothers? Yes, my queen, only to serve your will. Well done, Cerebrit. We have completed our task here. With these creatures, I, sh I can relay my orders through them. With the rest of the swarm without bound. Unity is within our reach. It would seem so. Looks like I won't be requiring your service any longer, Cerebrit. No hard feelings, but I just can't have. The green traces of the old swarm to undermine my vision of our future. You understand, right? Yeah, totally. Totes. We totes cool. Again, I served you faithfully during the Brood Wars as a matter of survival. Yet, no, make no mistake, you are still a, but, but a fragile human child and born of the ancient overmind self. You cannot presume to hold order over the will of the Zerg. I can presume any way I see fit. A new dawn is emerging, and sadly, it doesn't seem to include you in it. Let my Zerg prepare to exterminate this traitorous servant who would harm your queen. He literally served the, he, he literally served Kerrigan though. Foolish mortal. You shall not find me easy prey. Your predictability is your undoing as you have quartered yourself here with no escape. These renegade Zerg are now my control. And with your hive still weak over here, huh? Take your best shot, sir, but here this is a commitment of an aging field vision Zerg. It's time for a new generation of Zerg to emerge and only I can lead this can lead us there. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, now the uh, <clears throat> destroyed the last cerebrate. Now the map is bigger. Nice. Cool, I guess. Ooh, Zagara. One larvae. I really need to find the hotkeys for these. Transfuse Kerrigan. There we go. Zagara is not in the, uh, in the control group for some reason. Alright, eliminate every single one of these nerds. For the swarm, yeah, swarm stuff. Oh. 
Is it humane? All right, let's move down here. Ooh, base. I probably, I probably want to add. Uh, I found the organism producing the virus against our hive. Well, that's another base, but do I really need it though? That is a question. Do I really need it? I'm maxed out. And I'm. Uh... Ooh, piece of candy. Yes, let me get that. All right, let's go here. Cool. Cool. Okay. Destroy this. Destroy the hatchery. I should destroy this queen. It's being annoying. Okay, get plus three attack. Destroy the queen. Go go bailing rangers. Okay. It. I just keep smashing these. I have the economy to punch whatever losses I sustain. Cool. Ooh, a bailing nest. Let me snipe that. Okay. You know what the weakness of bailings is? They don't shoot up. Of course, we, know, we all know the solution for not being able to shoot up. Get an SSD. Of course. Come on, guys. It's pretty obvious. If you have a problem, the solution is an SSD. I transfuse this, and they can. Nice. I should, uh, oh, that's my forces. We're moving in. Create also this cavern, and the last of the swarm. The future of a race depends upon my survival. Ah, I think, I think we can do fine. I think we'll do fine without you. Okay. So this dude... Destroy the Ultralisk before it sends... Send, it is sent to attack us. Just keep smashing the space. Mulisks are pretty good units, guys. Mulisks are pretty good units. Especially when we're not against Storm. Okay. I guess I can see why uh, Mutalisk Wars are so popular in Zerg vs Zerg. Or in Brood War Zerg, that is. Okay. Bailing Nest destroyed. Destroy all Bailing Nests. Two remaining. Bones objective. Okay. Seems nice. Alright. I'm guessing there's another one up top here. Oh, wait. Let me. Uh... What are we doing here? Okay, are they retaking the space? Hope not. Okay. For this. Ooh, destroy that devourer. No, how is this possible? He must be destroyed. No, I'm uh, CTG. No, this is Patrick. Okay. Still haven't destroyed the, the other two bailing nests, so I probably should work on that. Let me find the last two bailing nests. Okay, I bet I bet one of them is here. I bet one of them is here. Yeah. Look at that. I'm not a StarCraft map maker, but it's uh kind of uh, intuitive to go for empty spots if you're looking for something. This chamber. Where could that last one be? Let me save in case something goes wrong. We're at a good spot. We're at a pretty good spot right now. 
Okay. Add another one. Okay. Keep smashing. Dude, look at how fast I bring these things down. Destroy the hive. Do nothing more than infested Terran. Characters just plants. Oh, groan. This again. I thought I'd, I thought I had enough with it for the Zaz. Okay. Okay. Kill this dude. Go. Kill their last hive. I hope is that their last hive. Ah, I'll destroy the rest of their dudes. Ooh, more. More workers. Not ideal. Go to Scourge Nest. Or is that their Queen's Nest? Can't really tell. At this point. What's what? What's over here? Random stuff. A Baneling. Where is that last Baneling Nest? He's somewhere around here, right? Who's there? There's an achievement here where I have to kill, uh, I think, 100 stuff with, uh, with Bailings only. Oh, there it is. But I don't think I don't think I even need to do that. It's actually impossible right now because the enemy has no other means to produce 100 units. So let's just talk to the creatures. Zagara, can we incorporate their essence into this fully into the swarm? I believe it is possible. For the lesser creature, perhaps for the for the Zerg room. I think we're gonna full clear, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fought valiantly, Cerberus. However, the time for your end has come. Cerberus, like, whatever. <laughs> you are nothing more than an infested mortal. How could it come to this? Our race was doomed the moment the Overmind found you. The Overmind was just a parasite, obsessed with destroying anything that wasn't worthy of infestation. What a pitiful mantra. I will uplift the Zerg to evolve our race into something more than you, Cerebrates, ever could hope to comprehend. Okay. Our race, you are not Zerg. You will never be Zerg. Never. 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 Perhaps, miss. Wow. Wow. Are you, Kerrigan? Are you? Just because Raider really likes you doesn't mean you are pretty. I don't know, Kerrigan. I don't know. Have you met the have you met the prettiest being alive? You're you're pretty uh you're pretty uh self-absorbed, but you can never match the sheer beauty and awesomeness that is Donnie Vermillion. You're truly king of the Zerg. I have much to learn from you. Don't speak such blasphemy, Kerrigan. Learn you shall. You and the new brood mothers are to lead the swarm's future. The essence is now within you. Together, we will evolve into something greater than we are now and discover a new path to the Zerg. Anyone who dares to stand our way will regret it. Okay. Three hours later. Oh, Abathur! Pog! What the? Looks like some weird Zerg mating ritual. And the Queen of Blades in order to stop whatever you are. Queen Blades. <laughs> you can speak. Who, what are you? I, A. Abathur, Evolution Master to Overmind, then Evolution Master to Zerbit, now without purpose. 
<laughs> I like how it, it still keeps the uh, the larva eating animation. An evolution master, interesting. That's how the server was able to rid of his tricks. Abathur, your purpose is to evolve a swarm, yes? I love how the uh, Abathur retains his larva eating thingy. Purpose to evolve a swarm by organ evolving organisms within. We can carry the blades, one such creature to evolve as agent of overmind. Wait a second, you created me? Indeed, self-memory returning. Queen of Blades, powerful creature, unique in swarm. Purpose to combat unknown threats to overmind, impressive evolution. Unknown threats. Mm, so the overmind has had a secret purpose for me beyond just its little pet experiment. Okay, its does not have an apostrophe. Too bad in the volume to see whatever it was through. Alright, Abathur. Alright, has only one L. I think I'll keep you around for your talents. Know that I am your queen now and your purpose is deserving and questioning unquestionably. Do you understand? Questioningly, by the way. New purpose given. I serve Queen of Blades. I shall evolve. I shall evolve Swarm again. Cool. Game of command. Finish the mission in the hard difficulty. Soon after destroying the last celebrate known to her, the Queen of Blades traversed the Char landscape to find an eradicated Zerg still not on her control. It came across the past evolution master swarm Abathur. Feral and Lila Master Abathur confusingly attacked Kerrigan, revealing to her he had helped design her current form. Kerrigan quickly realized Abathur's immense potential to her plans by a consort. He brought Abathur before the psionic human Kerrigan found earlier. Amanda Haley, still a slobbering malformed infested Terran, being unable to repair the damage already done to her first class, Abathur placed what was left of her. With an immense chrysalis, what emerged was a near perfect Zerg creature of immense psionic potential, with only minor Terran influence. Zerg Kerrigan called the creature Isha. Kerrigan's vision for the swarm was near completion. Her newly created brood mothers rallied her swarm for her on numerous broods. Numerous worlds, Abathur assisted in the evolutions to improve the swarm, and Isha stored the thoughts and the plans Kerrigan for the swarm together. The Zerg became unified once again under a clear leadership over the next several years. Kerrigan continued to prepare for any threat to the swarm and sought new worlds to infest, without drawing too much attention from both the Pronos and the Terrans. As they both started to rebuild their own fleets, she decided to continue to let them live and thrive, where they may prove to be a useful distraction against any coming threats. Man, that was a mouthful. Literally half. Literally half of that game was just dialogue. Man, can't command. Pretty good kill to death ratio, I have to say. 3 to 1. Nice. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. See you next time.